has been wrong. You're listening to the device. My life is the complete opposite of everything I want it to be. Facebook. Hello, everybody. Welcome Hi, to another Dave week and another episode of Talking. David Hi, this is Jason Mott, closing for the 2011 St. Louis wow. Cardinals, and you're listening to WICR. I don't know why David's always talking over me, but it's pretty rude. All right, hello, everybody, and welcome to another week of Gabbing with Brian. I'm your host, as always, Brian Moran. And I'm still Gab Archbold. That's true. That doesn't change. Um, <laughs> I don't see it changing in the near future. What's that? I like my name. I feel like I'm going to keep it forever. That's yeah. good. You should. Um, so we got a lot to talk about this week. Big, big stuff. We actually need all of our viewers' help. Big news. All very real news. Look at this. What are we? Not classy? That's, that was just a random chord. Don't worry about that. Um, big news. Um, we have not gotten in touch yet with the one, the wonderful Ted Danson. And that's why we need all the viewers to tag him in the comments below. Tag Ted Danson. If you watch for only five seconds, tag Ted Danson for Ted Talks with Gavin Bryan. Ted Talks with Gavin Bryan. Yeah, get it going. Hashtag Ted Talks with Gavin Bryan. Listen, Ted Danson, I grew up watching his, his shows, show. Cheers, mainly. He's been on many shows, but He's been Cheers is the shows. one that has really special, really special place in our heart. Yeah, so that's a guy we're gonna need to have. We're gonna need to talk to him. Gab, do you know any special facts about him that makes him more interesting to? Um, the he's group? he's English and Scottish. Whoa! If I <laughs> that's a sell if I've ever right. Heard. <laughs> That'll sell something. He grew up in like a Native American reserve or something. I don't know. You might want to fact check that one, but I'm pretty sure. Okay. So. Um, he loves the environment. That's good. Al Gore also loves the environment. He's he likes Al Gore. He's like homies with him. They're boys. Yeah, he actually went to what's uh, Bill Clinton's daughter's name? Chelsea. He went to her wedding. Chel Chelsea Clinton's with with her husband. Yeah, she married her husband. Okay. And and Ted Danson went to the wedding. Oh, Ted Danson. I actually I thought you meant Bill. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, Bill went to his daughter's wedding. <laughs> I was like, well, that's a good dad, you know. He might have <laughs> messed up in some areas, but he's killing enough. He actually has some pretty funny tweets. Yeah? So, like, uh, there, was a, there was a statue of a giant bug in front of, like, the Clinton, like, the where, where like, their offices are. And he, like, tweeted, he took a picture of it, he tweeted, this place is bugged. <laughs> 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 I was like, Bill, you dirty dog. I actually Do you have any uh, comedians you like who like uh, Bill Clinton? <laughs> Um, one in particular, yes. Um, you guys, you guys fans of John Mulaney? Well, I am. Uh, I didn't even give you a chance. John Mulaney <laughs> is the single funniest comedian, um, that has stuff out right now. Excluding I, Gavin and Brian? Excluding Gavin and, Bri Gav and Brian <laughs> on Gavin with Brian. Yeah, he's just everything I ever want to be. Um, <laughs> uh, I mean... Yeah, people question, uh, you know, they they don't know if he's gay or straight. He's married. He's, he's married, yeah. To a woman. To, to a female. And yet, people still think he's gay, which is interesting. Um, Wait, again, just for new viewers? Me. But that's also me. I have a girlfriend oh, okay. <laughs> for quite some time. Uh, people watching right now, if you could just Ted, tag Ted Danson. Yeah. Hashtag Ted Talks with Gavin Bryan. We're going to get Ted on our show. Yeah, we're going to need to talk to that guy, Ted Danson. Please so. tag Ted Danson. Yeah. Um, so, uh, in other news, the Iona players had their uh, fall show this past weekend um, and pulled in uh, quite a bit of revenue. Um, we, uh, we, I wasn't in the show. I'm a part of the players, though, as is Gavin Gab Archibald over here. But um, the show's noise is off. It ran four successful nights. It was so funny. It was insane. My stomach hurt after the second time I saw it. I had to see it multiple times because I liked it so much. Yeah, me too. I saw three. Wow, impressive. Well, the third one I walked in the last five minutes because I wanted to see like the thank yous and whatever. Oh, okay. Yeah. My stomach hurt. There was one part where it's a play within a play. Noise is off. Yeah, give, give them a... Okay, Synopsis so of sorts. basically Act 1 is the last rehearsal before the show opens. Um, then Act 2 is backstage, I think, opening night, if I'm correct? Yes. And then Act 3 is the end of the run backstage. Oh, no. I no, think, on stage. No, okay. no. I think that the second act is like halfway through the okay, tour. Okay. And the third act is the night, the last show. Yep. No, you're right. You're right. Yeah. So, um, the second act, no one on stage is really talking, it, but all the lines from Act One are being said off stage in the wings. 
and um and it just what goes on backstage and being in shows i know that you have to be quiet backstage and but things are always going wrong mm. this at one point the stage actually wobbled krista <laughs> bless bless krista krista ryan that yeah. is and you know little plug uh the stage actually like wobbled under her and it was real but it went so well with everything going wrong i was laughing so hard my stomach hurt <laughs> um what's it called uh matt lambden who's uh, a viewer of ours and uh also a player he's in stage crew he commented uh it was a funny play thanks matt hey, <laughs> matt actually that. was in a player show he was he was he um, was in the 25th annual putnam county spelling bee he was a misspeller is that correct yeah he he was supposed to be the speller to stay in the whole act one but he spelled mexican wrong leaving sandra archbold my mother in the show <laughs> the entirety of act one she deserved to she deserved that role though yeah she, she really did she was excellent yeah they gave her hard words like cow she she showed them she she killed it um, um uh, new people, <laughs> Jinx. Um, new people watching. Remember, tag Ted Danson. Yeah, that's gonna be a, a constant reminder here. It's almost like a theme, a uh, a hashtag that we will be promoting for the remainder of the semester. That's hashtag Ted Talks with Gab and Brian. We are trying to talk to Ted Danson. Please share this with Ted Danson. Does that, I, do our viewers know who Ted Danson is? I'm not sure. Um, I don't know where the millennials stand with him. Does anyone know the show Cheers? You know, second biggest uh, finale of all time. Oh yeah, uh, I mean Ted Danson, known as Sam Malone from NBC's hit drama, hit comedy. Comedy, Com- comedy. I was, I was a drama. I mean, know. there were some serious episodes, but overall, I I sleep. You know. But Woody Harrelson kept me laughing. Let's say that he came in the later season. Yeah, but he still did well. No, he did well. He did well. I think that was his breakout. Yeah. Yeah. What did he get? Acne. Oh, watch okay. out watch out here maybe um, millennials would still making dad jokes <laughs> it's whatever um actually um so yeah so tweet hashtag ted talks with gavin Bryan. tag him tag ted dancing tag him in the comments below we're trying to talk to him we got a lot of important questions we want to talk to him see what he, where he stands on different Let's events say, ted dancing belongs in the basement of lapenta uh, chilling in wicr <laughs> talking just just shooting the beep you know how it is that's breeze? Shooting, shooting the breeze. the breeze. Shooting the breeze with Gab and Brian. So maybe that should be what the hashtag is. Don't change it. Don't change we'll it. Keep Ted it. Talks with Gab and Brian. Yeah. Hashtag Ted Talks with Gab and Brian. Tag him below. When we're done this video, we want to see loads of comments. The man is a silver fox. I'll say that. Oh, wow. You went there. He's gorgeous. Um, Great jawline. But actually, speaking of dad jokes, this, this upcoming Saturday, uh, November 11th, I will be hosting along with my very... Uh, talented pipe band the uh, annual pipe band concert it's the 76th annual or not the 76th annual concert but the 76th anniversary anniversary of the pipe band being established um five dollar admission five dollar admission that's nothing that's like free except you have to pay five dollars um and yeah so i'll be i'll be telling a bunch of dad jokes uh the monologue's almost prepared they told me you don't need to write a monologue but i i'm gonna write one obviously so uh, make sure you come out for that. It's going to be in Murphy Auditorium this Saturday, November 11th. So keep your eye out for that. Be there. Be square. You know who would go? Who would, Ted. Ted. Ted would totally go and support. He just has to know about us. He doesn't know about us yet. You know what Ted loves? Ted loves television. <laughs> he loves the environment. And he loves pipe pipes. Bagpipes. That's real. We need confirmation on number three, but we know for a fact. <laughs> one I, and two. Well, actually, today. On, on I mean, he's Scottish. That's important here. Uh, an unnamed source, we'll say, uh, told me today. And at Iona, let's... Pipe band's a pretty ch- big part of Iona. I, I, yeah. Um, a young man in one of my classes. Uh, well, let's say a young being. Keep it... It's, you know, he's, it's just a person. Um, told me that they are not a fan <gasps> of bagpipes. Wait, I'm going to be honest. I wasn't before I came here. Yeah, but now you're here. Oh, now I'm here, and it gets me hype. I associated you, them with funerals and yeah. like serious things. Well, that's if you're hearing Amazing Grace. Yeah. So if they're playing, if they're playing, uh, what's it called? Like Door Knock. Oh my gosh, Steam Train. Oh, you better get out of the way. Forget about it. They play it before basketball games, and I get so riled up that now when I hear bagpipes, I get hype. And I was at church this summer, and there was a funeral going on, <laughs> and they were playing the bagpipes, and I got like 
Like, my energy just got up, and I realized it was a funeral, and it was, like, rough. Uh, you hate to see that. Yeah. <laughs> so, I had a... Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> in, uh, in high school, so we, um, you know, I went to Catholic high school, and there were a bunch of Eucharistic ministers that were students that would pass out, like, the blood of Christ. But if you don't... Pass out. Distribute. <laughs> uh, distribute the blood of Christ. Yeah, it's fine. Um, they would distribute the blood of Christ, and if not enough people went to go get it, they'd have to drink it themselves. And my, my high school is very strict. But that An was all boys Catholic school, by the way. Yeah, all boys Catholic school. You saw that. And um, my one friend, who you know, he was a he was a <laughs> Eucharistic minister, but everyone always kind of like wondered why. And uh, he used to get drunk on the wine because he would volunteer to drink everybody else's, which is <laughs> not. That I mean, creative. I mean, for uh, all boys, Catholics. I mean, I'm just saying, he enjoyed biology class a lot more than I did after, after <laughs> church. Wait, you guys had to go to church during, like, the school day? Uh, yeah, we, um, we, church was, like, uh, it was, like, in the middle of the day. So, we'd have, like, periods one, two, and three, and then church, and then the rest of the day. And then every period would be shorter by, like, two minutes or so. That's, that's, like, yeah, that's like a Catholic school thing. Yeah, public school never never had that. Oh, yeah. Hmm. All right, well, that's uh, that's about all the time we got for the first segment. So um, please remember right now to tweet, uh, share on Facebook, tag, comment, ta- him. comment right. at Ted Danson, um, hashtag, hashtag Ted, Ted Talks, Talks with, with Gab and Brian. Brian. Get it going. Get it going because, you know, there were only two people here, and we're in just like a basement so, I mean, he's not going to know about us unless you help we us out. We need your help. We do. We need your help. Um, this Consider us Dora the Explorer, except we're not exploring anywhere. We're going to stay right here, and hopefully your word of mouth will do the exploring for us. I'm still confused how we're like Dora. Well, be, well, we answer questions if anyone has questions. Doesn't she the one, isn't she the one who asks them? But also answers them. Herself. <laughs> herself. And that's kind of what we do because, you know, when our comments are getting a little low... Um, you know, we, we just talk to ourselves. We just talk to ourselves, and you know, in some situations it's unhealthy, but in this one it's it's very healthy, and we want to talk to Ted Danson, so make it happen, please. Hashtag Ted Talks with Gab and Brian. We'll be right back. 